Time on our campus local edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined by an Olympian. Her name is Jenny Jordan. She participated in the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney, Australia. She is a beach volleyball player and now she is quite involved in an organization called Ready, Set, Gold. Congratulations again on the 2000 Olympics. <laughs> Tell us about Ready, Set, Gold. Uh, Ready, Set, Gold is a nonprofit program. We've been around for six years and we have 50 Olympians at, well, 39 Olympians and Paralympians. In, okay, not bad. Yes, in right. 50 schools in LAUSD. And basically what we do is we go into these schools and we try to encourage the kids to be fit, to eat healthy, and to love fitness. Yeah, tell us more about that because I do think it's fair to say that kids like to be active, mm -hmm. but simultaneously they also like to sit in front of the television or play with their video games and eat potato chips, and that could be challenging. Yeah, I think with, you know, with technology, iPods, and iPads, kids come home, they want to get on those right away, play right. Minecraft, play these games instead right. of getting outside and exercising. And we have kids what, around the same age, exactly. so we know. Yeah, and that's what we used to do as kids. We didn't get all involved with all these video right. games. So just trying to encourage kids to go outside, be active. It doesn't have to be this regimented schedule thing. Just go play basketball. Yeah, I mean, explain that to us because I do think that some parents feel this guilt if they're not in this organized club program, some other failing them. But the reality is, Activity is activity. It's so easy. You just go outside, throw the ball with your kid, you know, um, take a bike ride around the corner. Just there's so many ways to be active. Even with video games now, you know, you have uh, programs where right, you can where dance on the pad right, and, you know, right. you're still being active. And so there's so many ways that you can do that with kids. So, as I understand it, the 51 of you, Olympians and Paralympians, are partnered with a school. Yes. And you specifically are partnered with a school called Olive Vista Middle School mm -hmm. in Silmar. You're working, I guess, with seventh graders, and I think you have a daughter who's in seventh grade, I so do. that's nice. Yeah. So that's nice. So tell us about your work at Olive Vista. Well, basically, I come into the school, and as many of the Olympians and Paralympians right. do with their schools, and we, I come in, and uh, sometimes I'll exercise with the kids to encourage right. them. Sometimes I'll have a do a talk about fitness, mm. or maybe even my experience in the Olympics and my road to the Olympics. Right. And just try to really get in there and. Um, do fitness with them, be fit with them. It's interesting, I think about seventh graders, mm -hmm. and I have to think some are ready to go, others a little self-conscious about body image, and so that you're in that kind of tough age. So talk to us about that and how you kind of work through those issues. Well, I know the school I'm at, there's a, a broad spectrum. I mean, there's the, the jocks, the athletes right. who have no problem doing this and getting up, getting active. Then we may have some girls in the corner who are afraid of what they're going to look right. like when they're exercising. Exactly. And so just trying to get in there and say, hey, I'm going to do it with you. You know, right. come on, I'm going to run this lap with you. It's not that hard. You can do it. I have to think that when you say, my name is Jenny Jordan, I was in the 2000 Olympics, that really causes the eyes to open up pretty big. Well, yeah, I think it does. And I, I definitely see, and, and even uh, Ms. Banks has said that when I mm -hmm. come in, you know, the kids kind of get extra motivated and then they, they want to do well. They want to show me how they've improved too. Right. And so I enjoy that. I love working with kids. I love to get in there and play with them. I played field hockey with them the last really? day. Oh, it was great. We had a lot of fun. I love I'm that. competitive. Right. I want to win. Of course you <laughs> so, are. Forget so, that they're 11 or 12 yeah, years old. I want to win. Um, what about volleyball? I mean, that's your, that's your passion. Is it, is, mm -hmm. I know soccer's kind of taken off, but is volleyball starting to see it stay in the sun? I think definitely. I think it's such uh, a great sport. I love I volleyball. I think with the sand uh, right. game coming on now in college. And then and I forget the women who has done who've done extremely well in beach volleyball. Yeah, Misty Me. Right. Carrie, I mean, uh, they've Carrie become yes. you know icons Absolutely. And, and heroes. And the U.S. has always been very strong in right. volleyball, both beach and indoors. And um, I just think with the the um, the beach game now right. growing and so many kids playing. And more. we're in Los Angeles. And, yeah. I mean, you have the beach right there. <laughs> right. Can you? I mean, can we get involved in any that? way? With Ready Set Gold? Um, yeah, I think you. Uh, check out the website. Yeah, check out Just the website. Check out the website. Yeah. You can get involved. It's ReadySetGold.net. Jenny, thank you so much for what you're doing for the kids of Los Angeles. Her name is Jenny Jordan. She is a 2000 Olympian working with Ready Set Gold. You can find it at ReadySetGold.net. I'm Brad Pomerantz. It's Time Warner Cable's local edition. <laughs>